Hey everyone, so I'm making a candid video or like a quick video jumping on just because I think there's a lot to be said about working hard, getting a lot done, but also knowing when this whole competence-based education process is not easy. And I can say that definitely there will be a honeymoon period when you're going through the initial courses and you're getting a lot done and you're getting that feedback one assignment after the other and then eventually you're going to get to a place where you kind of take a bird's eye view of everything you've done and you're like wow there's a lot happening and I still have a long way to go. I think when I was at WGU it was a little easier for me to rationalize all this hard work because the light at the end of the tunnel felt like it came a lot sooner when you're doing a doctorate, there's a lot of different factors. There is the sheer number of courses and the weight of those courses. So these courses that I'm in are nine quarter credit hours. So that could be considered like double the amount of work of a typical graduate course. But also, it's a graduate level course at the doctoral level. So there's just so much work to be done. And the more and more I go through the courses, the more I realize that these assignments are definitely beyond WGU like doing a literature review one course after another or an annotated bibliography or digging through research to support every single thought that you have is not easy I mean it's, it requires a lot of concentration a lot of thinking a lot of processing your information a lot of writing and sometimes when you're writing your thoughts they aren't coherent at first and and then you try to rewrite it and then it doesn't still make sense. What I'm getting at is this whole process is going to be a marathon. And one of these instructors, she had said, you're doing a mid sprint during a marathon. And I realized that you can do these sprints, but eventually it's going to catch up to you. And whether it's at the second course, the fifth course, the eighth course, the ninth course, the dissertation, eventually it will be important to just slow down a little bit. For me, I have a mind that is very fierce. It can push, it can go, it can do, it can concentrate, and it can excel at things. However, at one point or another, it's like wheels are spinning and trying to move forward, but just recognize that this is not an easy process. I feel stuck between my personality, which likes to work hard, get lots done, and the sheer fact that this is just like a huge marathon that's happening, this program. It is definitely not the same as WGU. It is not necessarily harder, not necessarily more challenging type of work. It's just a lot more work, a lot more critical thinking. So there's a certain brain process that's involved that is maybe different. So all this being said, I'm here with you for those who are doing this program. I'm here doing what you're doing and still feeling the burn. And I hope I don't come across as somebody that's just seamlessly, easily, breezily, is that a word? Going through this process because that's not the truth. There's a lot of mind games that needs to be played in order to keep yourself motivated especially if you're working. I mean, many of you are working full time. And if you're not at South College, you're at WGU, you're doing your undergrad, you're doing your master's or somewhere else, and you are working and you're using your brain and your cognitive load that's taxing, and then you're having to go to school work in the evening. I'm doing part-time work, which affords me the opportunity to free up my mind space to work on school work a lot during the day. But still at that, it's a lot of work, a lot of brain power. It makes sense why a, a doctoral degree is not for the faint of heart and why it's not something attainable for everyone because I think it's less about how intelligent you are. It's more about how your mind can commit to a certain degree of excellence and discipline and work at that over and over again. I mean, some days you're going to have these on days where it's just going to be like, one assignment after the other and you're going to be like applauding yourself and the next day you're going to think why am I even doing this <laughs> right so this is jumping on sharing a bit of realism sharing a bit of normality to this process of being a doctoral student but also congratulating those who are doing hard work feeling stuck getting unstuck working hard but also having those lazy moments but being able to come out of that because I get it it's not easy 
All right, if you stayed this long, thanks for tuning in. I'll share an update on my progress soon, maybe at the two month mark. And if you're interested in that, please subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you in another video.